Hi, I'm Pam Fox at pamfox.org, and today's life hack is going to be about when you forget your um, your reusable bags or your disposable bags in the car when you're grocery shopping. So here in Oregon, we just passed a law that now when you go to the grocery store, they're not just going to automatically put your food in these bags. They're going to ask, how would you like your items bag today and if you say you know you want them in a bag they're going to charge you five cents a bag which i think is great i think we're overdue um we need to head more in that direction where we're creating obviously less waste um more and more people are using their own you know reusable bags their own cloth bags um and so it's really not that big of a deal but a lot of times you get you get in the store and you realize you left your bags in the car or you left them at home and it's like ah i forgot my bags again <laughs> So, my girlfriend Malia lives in California, and they, they quit using these, these plastic bags a long time ago. And one time I was at the store with her, and she didn't have any bags with her. And she, I started to grab the little, you know, like little produce bags to put food into, because we were getting some peppers and mushrooms and things like that. And she said, oh no, we don't need that. And she just started putting everything in her cart, okay? And then we got up to the checkout and they started putting things in a bag. And she's like, oh no, we don't need that. <laughs> and she didn't have a bag with her. We were, we were traveling. And so then she proceeded to take that food. And mind you, we were just getting a few things. She then proceeded to take that food and stick some things in her purse, stick some things in her pockets, and then carry the rest in her arms between the two of us out to the car. And that's not the life hack. The life hack is coming. <laughs> But it got me to thinking, you know, we really don't need all those bags. Um, we can probably figure out a better way. So here's what I do. Um, now, mind you, I just shop for mostly myself and my husband, mostly just myself, um, when it comes to groceries. So I don't have six kids, and no, I'm not filling the minivan with $1,000 worth of groceries. But each of us can come up with a solution um, and use fewer bags and we don't even necessarily need those cloth bags when we forget them, and I'll tell you why. If you've ever shopped at Costco, you probably know where I'm going with this now. They have never supplied bags, right? They supply a box if you want it. They ask, would you like a box today? And you say yes or no. If you say no, what do you do? You take your groceries off the belt, you put them back into your cart, you wheel your cart out to your car, and you put those groceries in your car, right? And so my life hack, what I do, is I keep a tote in the back of my car, one of those Rubbermaid totes, okay? And so if I'm, if I'm driving to the grocery store, I literally put the food in my cart, all of it loose. I never use the little plastic produce bags. I throw the cilantro in the cart. I throw the mushrooms in the cart. I throw all of it in the cart. It's okay. It's going to be all right. It might get a little dirty. You can wash it when you get home. I just throw it all in the cart. I put it on the belt and I put, put it directly back in my cart. No bags if I forget my bags. I wheel it out to my car and I've got that Rubbermaid tote in my trunk. And I just put everything in there and then I take that tote into the house and then I unpack it and I leave that tote right in front of my door. So the next time I leave, I take it out and I put it back in my car. And that's it. I don't have to remember to bring things in from the car because I've just got that tote in the back. Now, a lot of times when I go to the store, I'm just getting a few things. And there have been plenty of times in my history where I've gone into a pharmacy and bought maybe a bottle of aspirin and they put it in a bag and you walk off with your bag and your greeting card, you know, just one or two things. And you didn't need that bag because you could have put that bottle of aspirin in your purse or your pocket or your backpack, or you could have carried it out in your hand. Now, here's another thing I want to add. A lot of people think, well, I, I like those bags because I like having them around the house because they come in handy. Particularly, people like to put them, they like to line, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my garbage. They like to line their little waste bins, right? Like this. I have a waste bin here in my office. It's got paper in it and it's got some clippings from a dead fern. When I'm ready to dump this, I will just dump this into my regular trash bin, which is lined with a, um, a plastic bag. For me personally, obviously we can't all be perfect, but we need to be mindful about moving in the right direction. For me personally, I probably go through two, again, it's just me and my husband, we don't have a house full of kids, but we probably go through two garbage bags a month, the big, you know, the regular size garbage bags for, what is it, like just the regular size kitchen garbage. 
um, because we recycle. In fact, when we lived in our house, we also composted. We now live in the city in an apartment, so we don't compost. But when we composted, we probably went through one garbage bag a month. And when these little guys fill up in the bathroom or at your nightstand, you just dump them into the main garbage. Um, if you're recycling and you're composting and you're you know, trying to minimize in terms of packaging, like when you're buying things, try to buy things that have less packaging if you can. Um, or if you recycle that packaging, you know, you can recycle glass, you can recycle, you know what you can recycle, um, plastics and metal and paper and cardboard. If you're putting those things into your recycle bin, then you're putting less into the landfill. So um, stop buying, you know, water bottles, you know, anything like that where you can reduce, that's great. So you want to recycle, but you want to reduce as well. So these are all little ways that you can start heading in a better direction. But I just wanted to share that with you because I remember when, when my girlfriend taught me this, I just thought it was the most simple and brilliant and most obvious thing that we should all be doing. We've been conditioned to think we have to put our food into bags and take it to the car and then bring it in the house and unbag it when we really don't need all that middleman stuff. We can just take it directly from the store shelf to the cart, to the belt, back to the cart, into the car and into the house. We don't need all those bags and if you do have a really large family when i had young kids i used to pull my car up to we had this little sidewalk that went up the back of the house to the back door and i kept um, a wheelbarrow right there and we would um, i would pull the car up and the kids would come running with the wheelbarrow they would load all of the groceries into the wheelbarrow of course this was when my kids were little and yes we did use plastic bags back then um, but they would load all those groceries in the wheelbarrow, push it up the hill, and then carry everything into the kitchen. So get your kids involved in helping you bring all that food in from the car, if that's, you know, an, an option for you. Um, but, but take time to figure out a plan that works for you and for your family. You can do it. You can come up with something that works, that will help you in order to minimize waste and to use um, less bags and to not get upset and freaked out <laughs> every time you forget your bags in the car. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.